Today's rant is about pricing. What goes into making up the price of a bottle of wine? Here is a bottle. What is the pricing for it? So if we look at, let's pick a 4 dollars wine and a 6 dollars and a 9 dollars wine and finally a 14 dollars wine. Let's see what the differences are in what you actually get compared to what you're paying for. So if we look at labour, shipping, all of those sorts of things, you're looking at about 60, 70 pence in any price of wine, whether it's a 4 dollars or a 9 dollars bottle of wine. Shipping costs, labour costs are always the same. Then you've got the duty and the VAT. Now the VAT changes depending on what you're actually paying for the wine. So if we look at a 4 dollars bottle of wine, you're looking at about £2.83, 85 pence worth of duty and VAT for a single drop is put inside the bottle. So you're looking at 2 80 plus 60, you're up to £3.40. Remember, this is a 4 dollars bottle of wine. So where's the actual damn wine? What's happening to that? Ha ha, yes, we've still got the closure. We've got the bottle. We've got the shipping. <laughs> no, we've done the shipping. We've got the bottle. We've got the closure. We've got the damn label. Oh, we've still got to put those on. And we've still got to put some wine in there yet. Oh, forgot. Someone's going to make some profit. The vineyard, they've got to make some profit. The guy who's maybe the negotiant, he's got to make some profit. The guy who's actually selling it to you, he's got to make some profit. So, with a 4 dollars bottle of wine, how much quality of wine do you actually get? About 16 pence. Isn't that exciting? 4 dollars You don't get an awful lot of wine. However, step up to, let's say, a 6 dollars bottle of wine. The costs are the same, 60 pence for the shipping and the labour. You've still got the duty. Duty works out at about 3.20, there or thereabouts. Still got a capsule to put on. Still got the bottles. Still got the label. Where are those prices? How much wine do you actually get in a 6 dollars bottle of wine? About £1.30. So that's the big, big difference. You step up just a couple of pounds, but you multiply your quality of wine immensely. So let's say you go to a 9 dollars bottle of wine. Oh my God, that could be right out of your price bracket. But what do you get? So, labour, shipping, still the same, 60p. Duty, a little bit more, because you're paying a little bit more VAT on the whole price. But remember, the duty is the same, whether it's a 4 dollars or a 22 dollars bottle of wine, still the same set price for duty. VAT changes though. So, VAT and duty, you're looking about £3.67 on a 9 dollars bottle of wine. Still got the capsule, still got the label, still got the bottle, still haven't put any wine in it yet. How much quality of wine are you actually getting on a 9 dollars bottle of wine? About £3. So you can see, you've gone up from 16p to £1.30 and then up to 3 pounds so you're getting an awful lot more wine for your money in a 9.99 bottle of wine now let's say you go to a 14.99 oh now we're looking a little bit more 70 whole pence for the shipping and the labor <gasps> imagine 70 whole pence duty is still the same doesn't make any difference the vat a little bit more of course so you're looking about four pound fifty in terms of duty and vat and all those bits still got to put a capsule on and a label and the bottle and you've still got to put wine in the bottle so how much quality of wine do you reckon you get in a 14.99 bottle of wine actually about five pounds sixty five pounds seventy so nearly a third of the price of the wine goes in to the quality of the wine. So, $14.99, you get about $5.60 worth of quality. Whereas $4.99, 16p. Doesn't really work out very much, does it? So, best thing to do, best tip for you, stop buying cheap, rubbish wine. Buy something that's decent. Buy something where you're gonna actually reward the decent winemakers. Reward the decent people who put love and care and attention into making these fantastic wines. They are worth the money. If you don't believe me, go out. Buy an expensive Chardonnay, an expensive Sauvignon Blanc. Buy four Sauvignon Blancs, all different prices. Put them together, taste them back to back. See what you think of the differences. Buy a French, buy Sancerre, buy New Zealand Sauvignon, buy a Chilean Sauvignon. Mix them all up, have a bit of fun, get some friends around, have a vote. Everyone will taste it different, everyone will see different things. Just because you like a 4 dollars bottle of wine doesn't mean that you're wrong. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is know what you're getting for your money. The more you spend, the better the quality. Simple maths, simple equation. Enough for today.